Hello guys. This is Keisha with Crafty Sweet. I'm so glad you guys are joining me today. I am going to unbox the February 2021 Paper Pumpkin Kit. For those of you that are not familiar with the Paper Pumpkin Kit, this is a pretty much a, a paper crafting kit where everything that you need to create the projects for that month are included in this box. All the way down to the block, the first box that you um, get when you subscribe, you get a D block, which, um, let me see if I have, I have one. Um, here it is. You get a, a block that comes like this and it has paper pumpkin written on the side. And normally um, all of the stamps that you um, that are included in the stamp sets can fit on this block. So you keep your block from the first kit that you get. And then um, the box itself comes shrink wrapped and plastic so the box itself is not damaged. And then on the inside um, of the box it contains all of the products that you need to create the projects. So for this month, they've included a um, pretty much like a promotion page for next month's Paper Pumpkin, which is the March Paper Pumpkin Kit. So March Paper Pumpkin, March is the anniversary of Stampin' Up! So they normally include a free gift in the March Paper Pumpkin. And so next month, this is the free gift. You get, you're getting four stencils and a sponge. Um, to help create those projects. They're going to coordinate with that March um, 2021 Paper Pumpkin Kit. On the back side of this flyer are um, just a sample of one of the die cuts that are in this kit and then some more of that flower and field designer series paper that is in the celebration catalog that you can earn for free if you um, have at least a $50 purchase in my online store. So that's the flyer for the promotion. And then here is the lovely stamp set. So let me bring out, so you guys can see this a little bit better. Bring out a piece of paper. Let's see. Maybe this white can show up. Okay, so that white is gonna make that show up a little bit better. So you have a bouquet of flowers here and you got three sentiments, some more flowers, and then some, um, they look almost like raindrops, but maybe like fillers for some of the petals on the flowers. So every paper pumpkin box you get, you get a stamp set. And then you also get a stamping spot. So this is the ink that you're gonna need to create your projects. And then we open up this gift tissue and then here are all of the products that you're going to need to create the projects that come with this tissue paper. That tissue paper can be reused, so can this box. Okay, let's open up. Let's open up the contents of this month's paper pumpkin. So you can see what you get. So it's two, it's you can't subscribe now. In February to get the February kit if you subscribe um, on my channel my through my stepping up store you can subscribe for the May paper pumpkin kit and when you are a subscriber you have access to purchase um, past kits if they're still available you also have an opportunity to buy refills for your, your kits too. So if you fall absolutely in love with a paper pumpkin and you want a refill kit, when, you just, um, when you're a subscriber, you get to um, order refill kits as well. So that's another thing to keep in mind. So you're not limited to just what you get in the kit. You can get more supplies if you order um, a refill kit. But you have to be a subscriber. Okay, so every kit also, um, so not only the stamp set, your block and your ink, but you get instructions and a flyer for um, to show you how to put your projects together. I <laughs> I don't read directions. I look at the pictures and I put the cards together. So that's how I do it. But the instructions are are here. You even have a ruler. So if you're um if you are using twine and it looks like we're going to be using twine on these cards, um there's a ruler down at the bottom so you can measure your twine before you um cut it and then make your bow or whatever that project calls for. Um on the back of the instruction kit, it tells you what your kit includes and then it also gives you um a list of the coordinated and stepping up colors. So if you decide to make other projects and you want them to coordinate with the card bases or the envelopes 
or whatever projects are included for that month, you have a list of those um, colors listed on the back of your instruction sheet. Okay, so we they have given us some black, look like basic black uh, sequins, and we got some mossy metal twine. We got dimensionals and then glue dots. So your adhesive is included. And then right here we have some envelopes for our cards. So this kit is all cards this month. Sometimes they're 3D projects and sometimes they're um, are all cards. It just depends on what they decide to do for that month. And it's a surprise that comes to your door every month. Um, you subscribe by the 10th of the month and then the kit starts shipping out on the 15th of the month. Okay, so we have our envelopes here and this yellow looks like it is a bumblebee. Then the pink in this set is Rococo Rose and then the Mossy Meadow, okay? So those are gonna be our envelopes that are gonna coordinate with the cards that are in the kit. Um, we have three sheets of die cuts in three different languages. Um, look like, let's see, that's French, English, and German maybe, down here at the bottom. So you get three sheets of those. Then we have some gold doilies. Is that what they're called? Let's see. They just call them die cuts, but it's like, a, it's like a foil. And so it's white on one side and then foil on the other. You have three of those. And then here are our um, card bases in, let's see, just jade. This looks like just jade. Is this just, yeah, this is just jade. Cute. Oh, we have some vellum. Also some foil in on the vellum. We have Rococo Rose card base. Oh, more fun stuff. All right, we have three card bases of Rococo Rose. And, okay, these are the flower die cuts. And then a bumblebee polka dot strip. We have three sheets of these. That's cute. Um, we have some labels to stamp our sentiments. And then we have our Mary Merlot card bases here. Okay, so let's put, let's do, let's try to put one of each together. All right, let me, I'm going to bring out <laughs> my instructions so I can look at the pictures. That's always fun. Okay, let's go ahead and do... Let's do, I'm gonna do one sample of each and then I'm gonna save, um, I'm not gonna put all of them together because I wanna do some alternative projects that um, I'll share with you guys. Let's see. <clears throat> and it might, I think my alternative, um, I'm gonna try to do something with the flower and field um, designer series paper because that paper you can use, um, you can earn for free and it'll coordinate with this um, with this paper pumpkin kit. Celebration is in full swing. You only have a few more days to take advantage of um, celebration. So earning those free items. And let's see, I'm gonna use my full size mossy metal. I'm gonna save my, um, my stamping spot. So just a few more days to take advantage of the celebration promotion so you can earn those free, free products you don't want to miss out okay it says sorry for your loss and these are those cards we'd like to have on hand we don't necessarily like to make them and give them for that occasion but we we need to have them ready all right so i think this set is perfect for that okay i'm just going to pull out one of these and I'm gonna stamp, sorry for your loss. Just like that. And then, let's see, they have taken one of the doilies. Just like that. And then let's do glue dots on the back of that to adhere that down. And I'm just gonna put the, um, the glue dots in the center. And I'm just going to use these up. It's not that many. Normally, I'll pull out my own um, glue dots, but they're in the kit. 
and I paid for them, so why not use them instead of stacking them up? I normally um, will just use the ones that I have on hand, and I have a whole bunch of these like laying around, but I think I can use all of these. Okay, now I'm just going to take the back ends off of these. And you can also, if you don't want to use the adhesive that's in the kit, like say for instance, if it just includes the glue dots and you want to pop something up on your car, use your dimensionals because they give you, um, you get more than what you need. So um, just keep that in mind. Let's take that off. We're going to adhere that down. And then I think I want to pop my sentiment up. The instructions may say add dimensional to the sentiment to the to the label. I don't know, but I'm going to pop mine up because I like things popped up. I think it just adds a little bit more to the card. All right, going to layer that on just like this. Make sure that's straight. And then I'm going to put a few of the black sequins on here as well let's see let's do one here to bring in that and one down here i'm gonna do in thirds and then maybe one one over here okay so that is card number one now let's move to card number two let's see i need a rococo rose card base so this is the one we're making we just made that one we're making this one now um, so we yeah, have our Rococo Rose card base, the bone folder. Um, doesn't look like I need to do any die cutting. I do need those vellum pieces with the foil on them. So that's going to be layered just like that. And actually this card is supposed to be horizontal. So that's going to adhere down just like that. Um, and I am going to be careful where I add the glue dots because I don't want it to show on the vellum. So I'm going to put the glue dots where I have, where my um, flowers are going to go. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's turn this over and go ahead and start adding. You know what? For the sake of the video, I think it's, it'll go faster. I don't want to keep y'all here all day. I'm going to go ahead and do my um, my glue dots. Just, um, it's just preventing me from having to take the backings off. They're, they're a little uh, smaller than, than these. Let's see. And I'll do some over here in the corner. Because the flowers that I add to the front are going to be hiding. Um, I have um, normally I haven't been crafting. I've been having problems with my finger. My finger. I'm, I don't know if you guys have heard of trigger finger, but my, that's what my mom said it is, and one of my downline say that I, it's I'm, it's called trigger finger. I'm like, oh. It needs to go away. I don't like it. It hurts. So I haven't been like crafting as much lately. But I'm back. I'm doing it because I had to jump on this kit. I got my kit the um, day before yesterday. And I was like, okay, I've got to put this together. It's so cute. And I, I actually ordered a refill for this kit because I like the card bases and I like these flowers. All right, so we're going to need one of those. And then we're going to need this one. And I'm just making the, um, I'm making it just like it is on the sample. Okay. All right. Let's see. So this one is up here in the corner. And then we have one right here. And then I'm going to add that one last. Because I have that sheet of thinking of you, which I think is so cute. Um. did I do with it it's probably under my card basis
under my ink pad. I know y'all probably saw it and were like, is under your ink pad, Keisha. Okay, we're gonna take one of these. Actually, we didn't even need to do any stamping for this one. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this die cut off. Let's see. Okay, just gotta be careful with it because it, it's adhesive on the back. So cute. You know what? I think I am going to use this to kind of help me out. Cute. Wouldn't it be nice if we had a, a die that cut out words in this font? I'm a font girl. I love pretty fonts. I'm just using this, y'all, to help me, like, lift it up because my finger is, is messed up. I don't want to, I don't want to tear it. Okay. Cute. And I just kind of lift it. It reminds me of lifting um, the die cuts off my um, my mat and my silhouette. That's what this reminds me of. But then that's when the <laughs> that's when your um, your transfer tape uh, look comes into play. All right, let's put this down because I don't want any more accidents. I don't want to break anything. Okay, that's going to be thinking. Let me get this off my finger. I'm just going to be thinking of you, and we're just going to layer it down. Thinking of... That's probably why they chose vellum instead of, um, like, cardstock for this one. Okay. Thinking of... Of, let's move this. You. Let's remove this. Okay, you don't want to move, but you're getting out of there. Thinking of you, and then we're going to pull this out right here. Just like that. Okay. That seemed way more difficult than it actually is. I think I made it a little bit too hard. Okay. Cute. All right, now let's go ahead and do our dimensionals on the back of our flowers. This one, this one, and then let's see, I had another one. Here it is. Right, these are easy to come, come together. All right, let's do this one like, let's tuck him under like that, just a tad. Kind of tuck it behind. I think that's cute. Thinking of you. And then we can add this one down here at the bottom. And then this one, the single one, we can add. That's cute. We can add like right here. Okay. So that is a card number two. And then the last card, we need our Just Jade card base. 
And then we're gonna need this die cut. And we're gonna need this strip. And we're gonna need a label for our sentiment that can go in the trash. And let's do, um, I'll always be here for you. It's a D block. Just like that. Now let's go ahead and ink that up and go ahead and stamp our sentiment so that can be drying. I'll always be here for you. Like right there. Okay. Now that is all of the stamping. So you don't have to be an expert. I did it, you can do it too. All right, crafting made easy. All right, let's go ahead and fold our, um, our card base. And then we are going to adhere this down. I'm gonna use my stepping seal for this. I'm gonna adhere this down. This is going horizontal as well. I'm gonna put that right about here. And then we're gonna pop our, um, gonna put our flower here. I'm gonna use dimensionals on the back. One right there. Quite a few for this one, okay. Peel your backings off. And that is gonna go uh, like that. Let's bring in our sequins and we're gonna add a few of those. Let's do one here. And then we're gonna do two small ones Kind of different from the sample, but I like the placement that I've chosen. And you can do yours however you want. Now we are going to add this with dimensionals. I think this card is my favorite. Three, one, two, three back ends off. And then we're going to just adhere this just like like that all right and that is card number three guys all right so there are all three cards and before we go I want to let's go ahead and see if I can do a real quick card um, using the flower and field designer series paper and I am going to take let's see let's see what we want to do Let's do, let's do this pattern. Let's see if I, I think I already have a strip of this already cut. Let's see. Yes, I do. Okay, I think this will coordinate with that flower. I'm gonna put it on a, um, a basic white thick, card base. Let's go ahead and cut that down. And I am going to do, do I want to do vertical or horizontal? Um, let's do, I'm going to do vertical part. So this is my favorite. Y'all know I always do four and a quarter. Four and a quarter. Four and a quarter. And then score it at five and a half. This is cold uh, <laughs> designing right here because I ain't, I know I wanted to do an alternative, but I didn't know what I had in mind. So we're winging it tonight. So here's my card base. Oh, let's keep that out. So since that is four and a quarter, I am going to do this. This is going to be four. down to four and then five and a quarter. So I'm just going down 
quarter of an inch on both sides. And so it's going to layer on this card base just like this. And then I am going to take a, um, hmm, I want something to pop so this can pop off because I do want to use this. You know what, I could, you know what, this is what I'm gonna do. Okay, hold up. Let's take one of our, the Stitch So Sweetly label or dies, and I'm gonna die cut it. Where's the stamp set? I'm gonna, let's see which one of these is gonna fit, probably this one. This will fit. Let's die cut a piece of white. Um, yes, let's cut this. I think that flower will fit. What did I do with the flower? Let's see. Okay, yep, I think that will work. I'm going to stamp that and I'm going to color it with, um, with our blends. Let's bring the stamp and cut and emboss machine out. I cut this. This is from the stitch, Stitched So Sweetly dies. I think I use one of these dies on just about every card. If you guys don't have this die set, y'all need to get it because it's one that you will use a ton. And if you've seen my, um, my cards, you know that I use this one. I use that a ton. You can use it over and over again. The Stitch So Sweetly. That stitching and that the scallop around is so cute. All right, so let's. Um, I'm gonna bring in my. Let's see. Let's go ahead and clean. Let's clean this because I'm gonna put my um, flower on this. But I'm gonna bring in. Nope. I'm gonna need a. Yes, that will fit. Okay. I'm going to bring in my memento because I'm going to color in the flowers to help coordinate the color. Okay. Let's do, and it's going to, I want it stamped off just a tad. So I'm going to do that because I'm going to put um, a sentiment strip on the on top of the label in this flower and I should have put my my mat down because I have because <laughs> I'm using photopolymer but that's okay let me go let's see I want to use yellow of course um, we use some I'll use this pink and then I'm going to use, hmm, what color is this? Not, maybe that's Mossy Meadow. Okay, so let's see. I think I want my, and I may even bring some pool party in. Let's see. Pool party? Nope. We're winging it, y'all. Let's see, mint macaroni. I'm pulling out the wrong ones. Pulling out my wrong color blends. Here's pool party. Okay, so let me just do a test to see what color. Yeah, this is a good yellow. All right, so I think I'm going to do. I hope this come out like I'm envisioning it. <laughs> it may not. Let's see, what else do I want? Yellow, I want this one yellow. Um, let's see, do we have any more of those? Maybe. 
Um, let's see. Can I do cherry cobbler? Cherry cobbler may work. Let's see. Cherry cobbler will work. And let's see. I think that's all of the yellow ones. Let's cap that and then I'm going to do cherry cobbler for like these smaller ones down here at the bottom. The thing about Stampin' Up! is like everything coordinates. So if you are not sure, you're looking at a, um, a color and you're not quite sure if you have it, pull other colors that are in that designer series paper to make it all coordinate together. So you can see that this stamp set came in this kit. And although this is Mary Merlot, it's still... Um, this is cherry cobbler blend that I'm using, but I'm using a dark one. So it's going to give you that color that's going to mimic that Mary Merlot that's in that um, designer series paper that I've chosen to do this alternative card with. Okay, let's see. And I think we have one right here. They're good about... Stampin' Up! is good about doing great color um, color combos, and I love that. Let's see. Let's make these pool party the ones down here. So it's going to be similar to the way that um, the die cut flower is because I'm using some of the same colors. Um, but you can do it however you want because I'm doing this on the fly. And I didn't really think about what what colors I wanted to pull in. Um, I'm just winging it, so I'm not doing anything that's too complicated. Let's do this one, pool party. And then I'm going to use the olive to come in, and I'm going to do my leaves, so like the greenery. And here it's going to be in that Merlot. I mean the mossy meadow, sorry. Just make it work all together. And the blends make it so easy. Alright, we have some here. A lot of leaves. But I think it's going to be pretty. One down there, one there. Yeah, those little um, things that I, um, the little stamps that were in the set, these right here, they're petals for the flowers. Cause I'm, I see them on this uh, on this flower right here. I'm gonna do that. I need to come back in and do that bow. We got some more leaves right here, and I think that is gonna color. Um, it's gonna bring in that color in this designer series paper. Let's see, I think I have another flower over here, right here. And then we have some more greenery, and then let's make this one yellow. And then part of that pool party some more leaves let's see where else am I missing a leaf right here ok 
Okay, then we're going to do our bow. So cute. I missed another leaf. And then now we're going to come in with our pink. I can already tell I am going to want to use some Wink of Stella on these flowers. I think that's gonna be so cute to add in that sparkle. And I'm using the wide tip I should use. I need to switch this up. I'm having to be too careful and I'm not patient. tip okay. okay I think that's cute um now let's see where is my card base we're gonna layer this up on this I am going to use one of the labels out of the kit and let's see, which one do I want? Let's use, we haven't used this one. Let's use this one. This one says, let's see, I can't see it. Let's layer this up, pick it up. This says, sharing in your sorrow, thinking of you, and wishing I could be there to hold your hand. So sweet. Oh, so sweet. And I am going to use the, I think I was supposed to use that twine on that first card. <laughs> That's what you get for not reading, <laughs> Keisha. Okay, let's see. I am going to... Let's go ahead and adhere this down. I am crafting on a whim tonight, so nothing is laid out like I normally have it. Because I just want to think this is so cute. All right, now I want to put my. Line around this. Let's put it out. Scissors. Let's wrap this around. Wrap this around twice. Too much on this side. Hold up. That's enough. I think that's enough. To tie it, we'll wrap this around. Twice. I'm gonna tie it, tie it on the side. I could have done a double bow on this. But we will probably be here all day. <clears throat> all day. Ooh, trying to tie a bow with this finger. Oh. Sorry, y'all. 
maybe I shouldn't have put twine on this because I'm having to hold it. with this finger oh oh it worked surprised okay let's cut this off didn't think it was gonna work okay so now let's go ahead and separate this in. Separate them a little bit. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to put this here. Move that out of the way. And then I'm going to pop this up like here. So let's bring in the dimensionals on the back of this. This, put that on the like to the left and then I am going to do adhesive on this side and a dimensional on this side because this is already popped up so let's do this sharing in your sorrow thinking of you wishing I could be there to hold your hand Oh my gosh, so sweet. And then now I am going to add some of the black sequins. Let's do one here. That's a big one. Let's do a small one and then another small one somewhere. Let's see. Right there. Okay. Now, so with just a few more supplies, I just pulled in some more of that basic um, white thick card stock for my card base. And I used that free designer series, um, the flower and field that you can get for free with a $50 purchase. I used the image um, that came from the stamp set in your paper pumpkin kit, as well as the sentiment and the label, the twine and the sequins. And I just pulled in like that basic shape um, die cut that I mean you will use that over and over again if you buy that um, out of the online store so this is an alternative project for the February 2021 paper pumpkin kit and let me move all of this out of the way so you can see all three cards in addition to the the alternative and then get a visual of that stamp set as well so Let's move that to the side. So we have this one, the alternative. We have that one, this one, and the one with my favorite card base, <laughs> the Just J card base, and we have that one. So the Paper Pumpkin Kit is such a great value. You keep those stamp sets and use them over and over and over again. You get one in every kit that you get along with the ink spot. And everything that you need to make the projects all the way down to the envelopes if you're doing cards for that month. So this is an extraordinary value. I can also, ooh, I can step this up by using one of the images in the stamp set and stamping the envelope to kind of dress it up a little bit. You guys have seen me do that before. So excellent value for this um, paper pumpkin kit. If you're interested in subscribing, you the link will be in the description below. Um, you can simply just go to my store, clip on, uh, click on Paper Pumpkin, and be sure that you're subscribing with me because I do send out a, um, a gift for you for subscribing with me for the Paper Pumpkin kits. Again, when you subscribe, you can get, um, you have access to purchase those past kits and uh, refills if they're still available. So um, if you're interested in March kit that's coming up, it, um, you have until the 10th of March to subscribe. All right, guys. Oh, and also, I forgot, because it's celebration, if you do like a, a three-month, six-month, or a 12-month uh, subscription, 
you can get celebration items because the the three month subscription is over that fifty dollars. I think it's like sixty dollars, a little bit over sixty dollars. So you can try it for three months. Um, if you don't like it, you can stop getting it, but then you still have that celebration item that you can get for free. And you can get that flower and fill designer series paper. Okay, thanks guys for joining me. If you have any questions, please email me. I'll be happy to help you out. If you're thinking about joining and want to buy the starter kit, which is the best value, let me know and I can get you started um, on that. And then you can add anything <laughs> to your order for future future orders and get 20% off of your orders for being um, a demonstrator and purchasing that starter kit. All right, thanks again guys for joining me and I will see you in my next video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.